Pro Football Weekly talks to coaches, scouts, evaluators from around the league and brings it to you in our Audible segment. No, first up, the topic is the Miami Dolphins. As one evaluator pointed out to Pro Football Weekly, he thought that the Dolphins' defense looked tired at the end of that game last week against the Broncos. We saw Tim Tebow play just terribly for three and a half quarters and then come on in the fourth. Perhaps it was because they were fatigued on defense. Who's responsible for that? Well, the responsibility falls on the strength coach. He's the guy that's going to make sure the team is very well conditioned. Ultimately, it falls down on the head coach, Tony Sperano. He's got to make sure that the strength coach is getting his job done. If you look at the season overall, if you look at the trends, I think it's been a common theme we've seen is that that defense is tending to wear down late in the season. So I think it's definitely an issue that needs to be corrected, and it definitely came into play last week. We know the Dolphins were going to rely so heavily on that defense with the question marks of quarterback coming in, and they're not pulling their weight. Now, another topic that one evaluator talked to Pro Football Weekly about was the GMs in the league right now and how there aren't enough guys like Al Davis and Bill Pulley and Ron Wolf, kind of these outside-the-box thinkers. Ted Thompson may be one of those. He's done things like keep three fullbacks on a roster. This year, five tight ends when people thought that was crazy. You think that as GM jobs come open that this is going to be a trend throughout the league? Well, you look in Oakland, they have a solid head coach in place, and I think he needs a guy like this. Al Davis was definitely very strong-minded. And he rolled with an iron fist, and you see that in Indianapolis with Bill Pauline. I think Miami would definitely benefit from that as well. You got to find somebody who knows how to keep, how to find talent, and keep the best talent on the roster. We know a, there's a good talent down in Tennessee and Chris Johnson, but he hasn't played like one this year since getting that big contract. As one evaluator pointed out to us, that maybe it's it's not as much the uh, the line as Chris Johnson says it was, but it's more Chris Johnson that he didn't show up at camp and he held out for a while, and that's the problem. What do you think is is the line at fault here? I think they got one of the best offensive lines in football. You look at Mike Munchak and what he did with that group for a long period before he became head coach. I think it was an outstandingly uh, coached unit. You look at the tackles there, David Stewart and Michael Ruse, I think they're two of the best in the league. It's very solid inside as well. So I don't, I don't see any fault with the offensive line. I think Chris Johnson's got to look at himself, look in the mirror, and realize he didn't come prepared to camp. He's got to learn the offense. He needed to spend more time with it, and it's really his own doing for the reason why he started so slowly. I think people would have had questions whether he would show up physically in shape, but maybe mentally he's not in shape to know that offense the way he should. Those are the audibles that we're hearing from around the league for the best coverage of the NFL. Check us out at Pro Football Weekly. Weekly.com.